Hi, welcome back. Uh, so today we're going to be doing some color stuff. Um, I forgot to mention that the file images that I'm working with are PNGs. Um, and I like to use white assets for color because if it was totally black, then they would, um, it wouldn't work at all. Uh, but if you, if you, you know, the lighter they are, the more affected by color the uh, they become. And so I noticed when I, if I want complete control over the color situation, then I just use white assets um, and I keep them really small. I think that that helps with um, performance. Um, if you are drawing something in, in Photoshop or Adobe Animate or something like that, then be sure and uh, select the option to crop them down small. Uh, around the image that you actually drew uh, because I think that it's calculating and thinking about all that alpha space around it. Um, okay, so let's have a look at the patcher. Open patcher and do, do, do. Okay, so we have our um, Let's just attach this to to our float animation that's already here. Um, let's create a color ramp. This is my favorite one. Um, let me attach the to the parameter yada yada, and let's have a look at it in the inspector. Uh, uh, I like to choose color array. And then um, it, the bottom color is the one that it starts with. Uh, uh, let's, let's, and f for fun, I like to make it black because then it's kind of uh, invisible uh, and then it bursts into color. Let's make it yellow. And that didn't work because I have to select the thingy correctly zoom bam okay um and then let's create an output now um a lot of people are tempted to go with color out i think with um uh with with your sprites you're going to want to pick material color out because color out will work in Unity, but not in the app. Um, at least when you're working with sprites. Let's look at the material color out in the inspector. Now let's select our target for that, our asset. And then let's select the property of that color. And let's test it out and see if it works. Yeah, all right. And for added fanciness, we could um, go to our color ramp and um, we could actually turn the alpha down all the way at the first color. So turn the alpha all the way down. So now it's invisible when it starts and then when it when a note hits, bursts with color and life yeah all right you can tweak the values of your input and your float animation and things like that to taste um uh let's do another trick um let's make another note input uh this one let's make this one channel two the snare um turn off the damp spring and then let's uh create another float animation uh you can some you sometimes you can just attach things to the value of your note and that will give it its own ramping up motion. Um, uh, but sometimes value uh, 
behaves weirdly in the app. It, it sometimes it's not enough value. Sometimes it's too much value. Um, uh, uh, unless there's no other way to get around it, then then sure use value. But I would recommend this technique. So uh, animation float animation. Uh, note on play. Um, and and uh, you know what? Actually, hold on. I'm gonna show you another thing here. Let's. You can just grab all these things. Duplicate. Boom. Disconnect that from there. And then note on play. And now let's mess with the color ramp. Let's make it a different color. I'm. I'm. By the way, I'm. I'm changing the background. Uh, which is located in the camera. So okay, let's let's change the color real quick. Let's do that a nice a nice blue, and then select the material color out. And in the inspector, let's no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I forgot. Okay. Uh. With your when you're doing stuff with the camera, then you would want to actually do color out. So uh, create output generic color out. It's going to give you a lot more options for different components that you can use. Um, select the target main camera. And instead of transform, let's hit the camera. Now it gives us another option. And then we'll hit background color. Um, let's try it out. Yeah. Cool. Um, I think I'm gonna stop here for now. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what we're working on next, but it'll be something. Uh, thanks a lot, have a good one.